one. So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. So it is like two weeks from Thanksgiving because of Thanksgiving being earlier with the fourth Friday and all that. So we're gonna do something a little bit different today that I don't normally do. We are going to do a Thanksgiving prep edition of Clean With Me. So, cause we're usually busy, whether we host or not for Thanksgiving. Um, it's our, it's best for me to like start like deep cleaning the house two weeks or earlier before for Thanksgiving. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's just kind of talk as we go at first. And if you want to see a video on the cleaning materials that we use, um, leave it in the comments below and I will get back to that. So first thing I do is I go and I start with my room. So when I was a younger mom, um, I read in a magazine, Martha Stewart was talking about, people were talking about um, how moms can encourage themselves to start cleaning their house and you know, the best, where's the best place to start? And she said, your own room is. Because if you start with a clean room, you're more likely to start the day on the right foot and be more encouraged to clean the rest of the house. So first thing we did was take care of the bed. Now it's got a blanket on it that just came out of the dryer and then I had to move my backpack in here to get something out of it earlier. But let's turn this around. But the first place I start with is my room. So like I said, I start with making the bed and what we're doing right now is with all of the kids' beds, um, we are starting a new way of doing the laundry to where, <clears throat> excuse me, with four beds to wash, bedding four, it sometimes is a hassle. So like today, um, it's Wednesday. Rebecca's bedding is in the wash right now. Tomorrow we do Sarah's. Friday is Madeline's and Saturday is Matt and mine's. And then that gets all the bedding through the wash without like freaking out at bedtime because we tried to do all of it in one day and couldn't get it done. That also keeps the laundry from getting backed up. I do one person's worth and then I start working on the laundry that we're backed up on or just like our normal amount of laundry. So that's how we do that. But turn this back around again. Okay, so the bed's made. And then from there, um, if I can get it to focus, we move on to our side tables and get both of those cleaned off. Um, and then I make sure we've got some feast stuff out from where we haven't put feast up yet from Silver Hammer. Uh, I'll link that video right up here. If you haven't seen our Silver Hammer video, we had so much fun at Silver Hammer this year. Um, but so we've got some of that that we'll have to put up. Matt does a really awesome job organizing it into our two boxes. My closet that I have suitcases in is kind of full for right now. So for now, until we can get a shed built, um, the uh, Samantha Brown suitcases stay in here and they're all kind of stacked together. And then these are some gifts for our wolf pack, for, um, which is what we call our uh, medieval reenactment kids group locally. Those are some uh, gifts for them. And then we also have some other gift stuff set aside already for holidays. I'll clean this up in a minute, but these are our instruments for now. Our goal is to get a shelf built in here for that. But yeah, so basically we just kind of straighten everything up. The archery and fighting and equestrian stuff already got put back up from the events. Um, cleaning the dresser off, and I'll get to that in a minute. Closet, um, pretty much, there's just stuff in all my closet. Pretty much just um, whenever we start it, we also go through clothes and we will pull out any clothes we haven't worn for like a year or two. And then we take those out and we start getting rid of things. We keep a, um, it used to be a trash can. It was like a really big one, but it was too big for like personal use. So we, and I gotta get her poo out of there. We started using it for Matt's uh, uniforms to turn back in. And then I've got a basket in here. And then my bathroom, um, I also start with that. So then from there, we move on to the dining room. Hi, Sarah. Wave to everybody. Hi. What are you working on today? I'm doing spelling. And Chubby's in the kennel because they just finished lunch, but he'll get to go O-U-T in a minute. So then from here, um, the way we do dining room is Rebecca does the table. Uh, Madeline does the floor. Sarah is in charge of keeping um, this side table. She helps me with this side table, which is our decoration table. And she also takes care of Chubby's kennel in here for me. And then she also has the big job of supper dishes, so I don't give her as much dining room chores. So from there, we just kind of move on. Hallway, the toy room, we clean as we go. Um, <laughs> not yet. 
the hallway we or the toy room we do as we go like I try to get them to clean up after they play in here in the evenings if that doesn't always work out then we just we will have it done on Saturdays and then um, they don't get TV time if their toy room is dirty so they either play in the toy room or they get TV time but not both so there's the toy room for now and then we've got to work on our American Girl doll situation over there and we move on to the girls room and we were doing like a massive cleaning out getting rid of stuff so this is like chaotic right now but it actually we are working on it Rebecca's bed stripped Sarah's will be tomorrow Madeline's will be the next day oh we haven't got to show you this yet hey Madeline come here so we've been working on trying to retheme the girls room and they pretty much I think have settled on Disney theme show them your new stickers we got these at Dollar Tree for a dollar, right? Was it one pack or two? It was actually two packs. Okay, so it was two packs. The follow your arrow was one pack, and then the individual arrows were another pack? Yeah, they came with the... The arrows came with the fire. Did you wash the wall first? Yeah. Did you use the um, Mr. Cleans, or did you use Pine Saw? Mr. Cleans. Okay. Works better. Were those pretty easy to put up by yourself? Yeah, except this one got a little crooked. This one has a little air bubble, but it's fine. Yeah, so that was two packs, so two dollars. And then go ahead and go back to whatever you were doing, sweetheart. Rebecca picked a pack out. We've also redone this uh, dresser situation in here. Um, Madeline has the dresser that was being used for holding fabric. And so she has an actual dresser in here now. The goal is to get each of them a dresser this size for all of them. Um, Sarah has most of that one except the bottom drawer is Rebecca's for her pajamas because Rebecca only has a three drawer unit. Um, but we're, we're going to work on that some more and then they have like their cruise Mickey Minnie up there. These are all dolls. Some of them were their Aunt Jennifer, some of them were mine and then dolls that they've been collected that are like nicer dolls are up there. Matt built the shelf out of um, uh, I don't remember what kind of wood it is. It's from his work. Like it was scrap wood from work and he was able to bring it home. Um, and then we do the uh, blackout curtains for them in purple. The kids ones are fun because like you can get them in purple, green, and I think pink at Walmart. And then they have a Mickey calendar. We're working on getting their closet organized. Um, this is the next part of their project once they're all done with school is getting their closet organized. We still have clothes tag these are not tag because Wednesdays like I'll have play clothes tag for them and then I will have their church clothes separate um because we do a Wednesday night service and so like you can see that they're ta they still have tags if you have never seen our video on that I will link it up here the tagging their clothes has been a huge lifesaver especially like when we started traveling more and for holidays so yeah, and then these are their winter clothes that are going to come down soon because they're, um, they're one of these, their space bag had ripped from their winter clothes. So I've got to get them a new one for that. And then we're also going to start transitioning, putting their sandals up here, their winter boots down here. Because right now we've got a mix and you can see that's not working <laughs> at all. And then um, once we're done, this will be filled. The bench will be cleaned off. And that's it for their room. And then next is their bathroom which is uh, Rebecca's chore. She does this one. Hi, you still working on health? Mm -hmm. And then the living room has become a little chaotic right now because we've been working on projects and we're working on cleaning out all the leftover paperwork from last year and uh, recycling and getting rid of that and then putting the new paper in this year. Madeline's filling her floppy folders. And um, I'm gonna try to, I haven't, I did not do a video on our crates this year and we did last year and everybody liked them we just haven't had time have we Madeline we have not had time to do videos on our yeah so because we've been crazy busy October was crazy for us so we're working on she's filling one of her floppy folders each of them have six this year Rebecca's using one of hers right now to do that um the rug's been moved so we can work on trying to get the school corner cleaned out completely and so yeah, it looks a little chaotic. And then everything we're getting rid of, like the younger kid DVDs, because I don't have little kids anymore. <laughs> um, like the top, like the preschool DVDs, we're getting rid of all those. And then we've got um, decorations that are over here that haven't been brought out yet. Like this table hasn't been cleaned off yet. And one of the stakes from a demo is <laughs> over here instead. 
But um, so we're working on trying to get all this cleaned out. So this looks a little chaotic, but like next we'll be taking care of this. And I'll show you a video of everything once we're done. And then the kitchen we do as we go, it actually doesn't look that bad right now. Um, we're currently working on trying to finish up a couple of dishes from last night and today's lunch. And then I also had to refill my pine saw bottle. So the big bottles out here. Um, so we try to get that done. And then the laundry room was actually done yesterday because on top of doing like our normal cleaning, we, um, I'm also trying like the 30 day clean out challenge and day three was your coat closet and your mud room. So the mud room is technically this one because the back door leads straight up to the carport. Um, so what we did in here is one of these is broken for now. So like the darks are going over here, the pinks, mats, work clothes, and towels. And so we cleaned all this out, cleaned the top of that off. Um, we cleaned that out. We've redone our cabinets to where um, we're getting rid of the little kid roller skates. So now we have an odd sock basket and we have a lint basket. Um, and then we have like their outdoor things, like their helmets, their bubbles, their chalk, their uh, jump ropes are all up in here now. And then um, I have my iron up there. There's some, uh, the, we still have the extra piping from when we bought the dryer, the, uh, the vent for the dryer. Um, there's some oil for the weed eater, I think my mother-in-law's ironing more we keep a uh, emergency rations water supply in here just in case of emergencies because we live on a hill and we have black ice we get snowed in like really easily for a uh, southern area and then this is coming off but this there was some sticky stuff on here when we moved in so i put some um i think i just put like scrapbooking paper on there and it temporarily taped it and i was meaning to mod podge it and i never got around to it so i've got to redo that um the smaller rags are here the medium rag towels are there. The large rag towels, like especially for bathing chubby, are in there. Um, my Swiffer supplies, my dusting supplies. Um, I think, I don't remember what that's a can of. That's some, I, that may be for ironing, I don't remember. And then my gardening supplies are on that side, which probably need to, I've, I've got to switch these around a little bit because gardening supplies should all be together and they're not. And then um, extra supplies for chubby. So we took care of all that. We clean off the dryer because sometimes this will get piled up with uh, donation stuff. And so we got it cleaned off. Um, bag of lint to go to my mother-in-law. She reuses it. Um, eventually the Aldi's bags are gonna go on here, mounted on another piece of stained wood like this one, except it'll be on this wall. And so that's a goal. And the outdoor, outdoor she's organized. And then we swept in here. We haven't mopped yet. And then the office is a whole nother basket case all of itself. Um, we're working on that right now as well. So that's basically everything we're doing and have done. But the first goal is to, like I said, I'm starting in here and then I'm branching out. Okay, so what I'm doing for this week is I'm starting in here and working my way out. What I will do the week of Thanksgiving is I will actually start with the um, mudroom and I will start with the living room the main focus entryways and I will get them done first um, chubby sometimes gets whiny when we have a lot of people over so he usually we will move like all of these baskets out and then we'll make him like a little happy place in here for when we have company over so we move him out um, we used to put a kids table up all the kids got too big for it so we may put a folding table up instead we have a folding table and chairs for putting that up. Um, if we do host here, I'll show you the video of how we set up for hosting Thanksgiving in our house. Um, Cause we do rearrange this just a little bit. Do your spelling. Okay. So that's basically a quick walkthrough. Um, if you want more details of like specific ways that we clean out. I'll probably do some more videos on that coming up, but this was just like a quick walkthrough of how we do it and how we just like branch out from one room to another. Um, and if you also want to see like a list of our cleaning supplies and things that we use, leave that in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.